After several years of skirmishes and battles, the humans had finally convinced a council of Aquili leaders to meet for diplomatic talks between the two races. The Aquili were the esteemed guests on a human space station near the edge of human colonized space. The station was used a far-flung tourist trap for human elites and as a final resource depot for explorers looking to expand human horizons. The Aquili were a pseudo-aquatic race that preferred low or zero gravity environments. Their stay was facilitated by fitting large, clear tanks onto mobile drone platforms that the Aquili could control at will. Though their native atmosphere was not water, they could live comfortably in water with survival suits of their own design. These designs together, in cooperation, worked well to allow Aquili to easily move around and interact in the human space station. The humans have concentrated all their gained knowledge of the Aquili in preparation to impress and woo them in the upcoming peace talks. The day before the peace talks, a security captain requests a private meeting with the station commander. Commander, can you please look over these notes while we talk about the meal that we will host for our guests? The captain puts a pad in front of the commander upon which is written, Watch your tongue. We believe there are Aquili spies in one of our water reservoirs. We believe they are using our water pipes as a station-wide hydrophone. We don't know how they got in. The commander replied after a moment, while typing furiously his reply on the same pad. Oh, I assume you want my input as to what we should offer our guests to eat? I hear that they don't experience flavors the same way that humans do. What kinds of foods they prefer in their own company? Has our intelligence found any preferences for leaders and elites in their race? Isolate that tank immediately. Have maintenance drones inspect the station exterior near the tank to look for points of exit and weld them shut. Reroute all pipes through secondary tanks. Let's keep the spies locked in. I have to be careful not to cause a scene if we catch their spies. After a brief moment to absorb both what the commander had written and said, the captain replied and typed, Ah, uh, yes. I hear that the Aquili seem to prize gummy-type food textures as well as jujubes and jellies. Soft gelatin foods or gels seem to be the most coveted. Should I have the cooks look into gummy recipes and foods to have for our dinner together? Again, a brief flurry of typing and the reply from the commander. That seems like a good idea, commander, but be sure to consult our guests directly for specific nutritional needs. We don't need to have any of our friends poisoned by accident. Thank you for coming to me for input. I appreciate that. Dismissed. Two days after a successful feast was held for the Aquili and a relatively successful peace talk was had, the humans received a transmission from an Aquili source. This source seemed to be within the station itself, not from any of the Aquili ships in formation near the station. The message was a declaration of private surrender and a request for assistance. The station commander had ordered all available human ships to deliver their dessert gelatin rations to the station and had all the station's gelatin rations collected. In all, 6,000 pounds of jello powder were used to convert 20,000 gallons of water reserves into a sweet, delicious and harmless prison for six unlucky Aquili spies. Be sure to have buckets ready. The Aquili seem to do well as prisoners in those. I don't think we have to worry too much about our prisoners' diets for a while. These spies have eaten like absolute kings, according to our diplomats the station commander added, smirking. 